Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and here is the problem of the day. Joanna and Darius both possess the genes that codes for the dwarfism, however both of their characteristics differ quite a bit. Joanna has many health issues caused by her dwarfism and Darius has little to no issues with his health other than being shorter in stature. What phenomenon explains this? I know that students usually confuse penetrance and variable expressivity. So I want to show this picture. In these boxes here, we see complete penetrance. When person possess a gene, defective gene, he express disorder or genetic disease. But incomplete penetrance would be example when some people would have defective allele or gene, but would be phenotypically normal and some of them would express this genetic disorder. So this is example of complete penetrance of the disease and incomplete penetrance of the genetic disorder. But what about narrow expressivity? Imagine that here each box stands for a person. If these people got defective allele, so they all would uniformly express this genetic disorder and we say would have the same syndrome. But variable expressivity would be when a group of people who has the same defective allele would express it individually so differently. Some people to the lesser extent, some to the greater extent. Sometimes this depends on the environment, on the lifestyle of the person, on the age and number of different factors. One more time. Incomplete penetrance would be a situation when a group of people who has defective allele, but some of them uh, would be phenotypically normal, those they can pass this defective allele to their progeny. And in their progeny, this genetic disorder may reappear again. But verbal expressivity would be when every person in a group who has defective allele would express this genetic disorder, but to different extent. Let's now return to our problem. Joanna has many health issues caused by her dwarfism and Darius has little to no issues with his health other than being shorter in stature. This is example of the variable expressivity. Answer B. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.